We work so much <laughs> on not having the ego or it be part of what we do or how we do it. But it it's kind of learned. I mean, not no I, offense, I but I feel learned, like yeah. musicians, there's there's some ego there, especially ones that have become famous and as they should. They've earned that right. You know, there's right. a certain image they have to give off. So I can imagine getting sober. There's a lot of sort of checking that that you have to do because a lot of it is just image You're of so ego. Right. And there's really a lot of like, you know, inferior feelings inside. There is. And a lot of that is um, perceived ego. Dallas and I were talking prior prior to recording about the ego and even the ability to find somebody suitable to do the work that Rock to Recovery does. You have to have been a professional musician, somewhat famous. You have to have been a junkie or alcoholic or whatever, be sober, be sober for an extended period of time. Most importantly, you have to be able to let go of yourself and realize it's not about you. And the way that we do that is we find people strong in their program mm -hmm. because we know people strong in their program and let go of that. 